every biological researcher has this one common complaint which I'm sure you all will connect with is when the whole world is celebrating New Year, Dashara, Diwali, Christmas many a times you get caught up into work and now you have to stay back in the lab and keep doing your job now, this is not something new. This has always happened. Many biotech researchers have complained that because they're doing a wet lab job and the process is happening, we can't leave. We have to either be there or pass, it, pass the responsibility to someone. But if there's some error, we have to come, come back to the lab, right? Now, that is about to change. How? Well, enter AI agents. Now, I'm sure you have you must have heard of AI and how artificial intelligence and machine learning is changing the world one tick at a time. But when it comes to biotech, things are moving slower. Well, because tech is entering bio slower than expected. But it's not that they're not going to enter. But a new change which has recently come up and which is not being talked about is going to revolutionize the same slow pace of experiments. And... That is where we're talking about now AI agents in bioinformatics. Now, imagine that today is uh, New Year and you want to go home, but uh, your drug discovery process is running. You have to be there manually to sift through the process and make sure that things are happening as expected. But hey, hold on. You plug in an AI agent which keeps doing the job and you can go and relax be with your family. Now, that's where AI agents are going to revolutionize the world of biological research. Now, let me give you seven to eight examples which wherein AI agents will come in. Now, number one, obviously, will be drug virtual screening. So, AI agents will sift through millions of compounds to predict which are the most likely uh, uh, agent which is going to bind with the target protein, right? There will be uh, cases where generative AI agents like AlphaFold inspired systems will propose new molecular structures then there will be simulations wherein one AI agent will model the protein ligand binding and another one will evaluate the pharmacokinetics, accelerating drug discovery cycles. Then we will see uh, genomics and bioinformatics annotation, genome annotation happening. So AI agent will be auto identifying the genes, promoters and regulatory elements. And then they will be able to do variant analysis, multi-agent pipelines. For example, one agent uh, pre-processes the NGS data, another agent performs the alignment, another detects the variant and the final agent generates the report. Imagine all of this happening while you are sleeping. Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We will see AI agents in synthetic biology systems biology wherein they will design the pathways they will um, there will be agents which will uh, do the lab automations hypothesis generation will be done through ai and in fact it's this is already happening by the way now the best part of this is nobody is disclosing and talking about it but internally companies are hiring for this and how i know it because Many companies come to me and say that I want a biologist who has a UI UX um, experience and also has Python experience. Now, tell me which course teaches you this? Biotechnica. Now, Biotechnica has a hands-on training, which is starting from 29th of August. And this is specifically for AI ML in bioinformatics. It's not that AI ML in biology. It's AI ML in bioinformatics, computational biology, industrial training, wherein you will be able to do project work, wherein you will be able to do paper publication along with our scientists and then you will have the work experience letter. That means you will no longer be a fresher, you will have experience and you will be ready to rock the industry. You will be able to work on AIML in drug discovery projects with Biotechnica CRO, cancer and disease prediction using AIML. You'll be able to work on protein structure prediction using agentic AI in uh, bioinformatics and genomics and transcriptomics projects using, using agentic AI. Now, this is starting from 29th of August. If you are interested, you can chat with me and my team with the WhatsApp link given in the comment section. Now, let's get back to the video. So, agentic AI is uh, today uh, going to transform the softwares. And now the softwares will be automated, personalized the way we want. The same way in our clinical research now we will be able to 
match the patient with the requirement of the clinical research. We will be able to do biomarker discovery. In literature mining and knowledge discovery, earlier we used to have teams, you know, in biotechnic also, we used to have teams which will do the data mining, which will do the analysis of the research papers and then accordingly we will serve our clients. But now things are changing. Paper summarization is happening through AI. Knowledge graph construction is happening through agentic AI. And now these agents are actually not just uh, there to reply when you ask, they are proactively replying. In fact, if you have used ChatGPT5, you will know that it is equivalent to a PhD candidate. So, he, you know, it is as good as talking to a PhD in biosciences, right? So we are looking at laboratory workflow optimization using agentic AI. Data cleaning agents will be there. Experiment planning agents will be there. Autonomous labs will be there wherein you just give a command and they will do the experiments on their own inside a computer. So this is where the future outlook is multi-agent systems. And that is where you as a human will just be giving commands and bioinformatics softwares will do stuff as per the command and you can step away from the experiment. Now imagine all of this ha is happening in real time, right? Now only one thing which I fear is chat GPT was the tip of the iceberg. Okay, it was just the first step. There are much, there is much more to be done and all these agentic AIs needs to be created and uh, many companies are doing it. If you want to increase your ch chances and you know of employment to be increased, if you want to get placed faster, companies like Medgenome, Elicidata, Syngene, Biocon, everybody is hiring, Dr. Reddy's is hiring for um, people who can design these systems for them. And that is where Biotechnica's internship comes into picture. Here we'll give you group training for the first 45 days and then we'll put you in um, a project where you'll work for three, six or 12 months and then you will have a work experience letter. You will be ready to get placed and our placement assistant department will help you there. So all in all, if you are ready for the future, future will embrace you and you will be a top-notch scientist of the future. And the first step to that would be clicking the link in the description, chat with me and our experts, and they will guide you on the next steps, how you can design your career with AI ML in bioinformatics. Remember, the seats are limited for this particular internship and it is starting from 29th of August. So time is less, seats are less, but only for the right candidate. If you are the right candidate who wants to build a future of AI ML in biology and bioinformatics, click the link below and I'll see you soon as a successful scientist. All the best.